Let's not try to sugarcoat the situation here. Deep down, we were all sad that there was no gameplay or a trailer for Spider-Man 2 at the Game Awards. But wait, you are about to go from sad-ish to extremely hyped because a new trailer or gameplay has just been hinted by the main people at Insomniac Games and wow, this was a smart tactic that they have been running with. If you can leave a like on this video, it helps a lot so I'd really appreciate it. But if you get to the end and you say, well, I didn't actually enjoy the video, then feel free to turn your like into a dislike. But if you could drop a like right now, it helps a ton. So we'll start with Miles Morales' voice actor who just posted this video yesterday. But wait, there's more. We gonna end the year off right with y'all. Y'all showed me a lot of love this year and next year is gonna be crazy. So what I want y'all to do also too is hit up Streamly. Link is in the bio. If you want a picture on your wall, boom, signed by your boy, personalized message or whatever you want, whatever you need. Good little Christmas gift too for the little boys and little girls in your family. I'll do it. Let's make it happen. Hit up Streamly. Link is in the bio. Easy. Click. Boom. Make it happen. I mean, come on. He then retweeted the video on Twitter. But wait, there's even more. So James Stevenson, who is the community director at Insomniac Games, simply tweeted a gif from the trailer of Peter and Miles. Now, I am no scientific genius, but the stars are aligning here, people. My initial theory that I've mentioned since the Game Awards show is that with the Across the Spider-Verse trailer dropping on December 13th, maybe, just maybe, they'll follow behind and have the entire week with eyeballs on the trailer and then bam, a new Spider-Man 2 trailer. Almost like an entire week where it's just Spider-Man where people are just talking about the trailer and of course the game trailer and the best part is it makes a lot of sense. The Game Awards show was very busy with some great games being announced and ultimately stealing the spotlight from one another, but I said maybe Insomniac slash Sony are just waiting for the dust to settle, where everyone has announced new games or updates, looking back at it now, adding this game to the mix would have actually just made that game one of many being spoken about, but now that everyone has more or less had the conversation about the games that were announced, things have started to go a little to quiet, which of course is the perfect time to drop something for Spider-Man 2. Now, I read a few comments that said dropping a Spider-Man 2 trailer alongside all the same week with the Across the Spider-Verse trailer would actually be detrimental to the movie and basically just a terrible move overall but not really. In fact, it's actually a genius marketing strategy as people interested in the movie shift their focus to the game after watching the trailer and of course vice versa. And of course, once that movie actually drops, people will be waiting for this game to drop to simply play as Spider-Man. They did this back with the first Spider-Man game on PlayStation 4 and well, the result was insane, both from a hype level and what Sony were able to get in for the game, which is of course why we are here talking about a Spider-Man 2 to begin with. Now this year has basically gone from no news to a whole bunch of new info in literally the space of a week. From finding out more info on this game thanks to the voice actor for Venom, Tony Todd, to an easter egg being found in the trailer literally after a year of the trailer's release that shows practically just how big this map in the game will Will actually be and then lastly we have the guys at insomniac taken to social media to give subtle hints because of all this information that's why we've all been saying well it would just feel a little strange to end the year with nothing from this game i mean i'm literally talking about even if it wasn't a screenshot at this stage we all just wanted something new and it seems very clear now that that is about to happen you could also argue that this teaser is for next year but as I say thanks to the video that I showed you at the start from Miles Morales' voice actor he clearly says about ending this year right for us so 
Yeah, it's about to happen. Now, of course, exactly what we will see still remains a myth. I do feel the most suitable thing to actually show, though, would be a gameplay trailer. So a mix of actual gameplay segments and then cinematic scenes, ending with some sort of cliffhanger of some kind. Now, with all the information, of course, regarding the map size in this game too, I am actually curious to know if they could potentially drop a little teaser for that too, because, of course, if the whole 718 easter egg was actually relating to the exploration in this game not only is it just a big way to show the playstation 5's power but it would actually make this the biggest spider-man open world game to date which of course is something sony no doubt will want to shout about very loudly now of course earlier today we did have some news that i released on this channel thanks to the deeper depths podcast host who done a podcast yesterday yesterday revealing some more info that the voice actor for Venom actually shared of course Tony Todd with his initial episode with him he also mentioned how Tony Todd will be going on for a second episode which is very very exciting but the key takeaway in that podcast was actually the fact that he was trying to dig really deep to get an understanding on how Venom will be in this game and what a conclusion is that it's going to be the Venom that we actually see in the comics and just in films in general we are getting the bad villain venom as opposed to the ones that we see for example in just the recent games where he is a bit more comedic so i think this is a really big thing overall this game's drop as a whole is going to be huge one thing that i know myself and a lot of you guys are still wondering as well is whether or not this spider-man well the spider-man games should i say are actually going to become a series almost like the assassin's creed games are we going from spider-man 2 to spider-man 3 4 etc what is insomniac's actual goal with this character and just the series as a whole that is something that i feel of course we still have to wait and see how it rolls out in general but i think just getting given the opportunity that insomniac games have actually got to make a spider-man game says a lot within itself not to actually mention the wolverine game as well which of course is going to be massive that then leads to a whole different i guess theory if you will where is this going to be a situation where insomniac just completely dominate the marvel hero scene i guess you could say with video games where we have a spider-man game then we have the wolverine game will it go to an iron man game will it go to a captain america game you get where i'm going here and that if that was actually the case would be massive but i guess what would actually determine that is not just specifically how well the spider-man game does but more specifically how well the wolverine game does because if that game actually does very well then there's no doubt that marvel are just going to trust insomniac games with practically every character that they have or at least what they feel could actually make for a very good video game so it very much is just a situation where we have to wait and see how things roll out but there is no doubt that we are ending this month with something the big question is of course is what is that something now i don't want to just completely water it down and say well it might just be a screenshot it might just be a little snippet i do genuinely feel we are going to get a full-fledged trailer of some kind as i said earlier whether that's going to be a gameplay trailer or whether it's actually just going to be another cinematic trailer like the first one either way it makes no difference they're both going to be as good as each other and of course just give the fans what they actually want now as i said we did get some more information regarding venom scout in this game which is true mind-blowing as we are in for the dark venom which is going to be great so check that video out that you see on screen right now